For decades, scholars believed that the Native Americans of the Caribbean were a simple offshoot of mainland South American groups, perhaps peaceful islanders wiped out in a tragic wave of European conquest following Columbus. But groundbreaking research published in Nature, Science and other recent genomic studies has shattered this long-held narrative. At the center of this transformation is the story of one woman, a Taino woman whose 1,000-year-old DNA recovered from Preacher's Cave in the Bahamas opens a genetic doorway into the ancient and complex ancestry of Caribbean peoples. Her genome not only reflects a clear link to the Arawakan-speaking peoples of South America, but also reveals traces of archaic human lineages, Denisovan and Neanderthal, reaching deep into South America's forgotten past and even into Panama. This new research challenges our most basic assumptions. Native Americans, especially those of the Caribbean, are not who we thought they were. The Caribbean Sea, a vast mosaic of more than 700 islands spanning a million square miles, was one of the last regions settled by early Native Americans as they spread across the Americas. Yet, even before Columbus landed in 1492, dramatic upheaval had already altered the human landscape. According to new DNA research, the original Caribbean islanders, descendants of the first foraging Archaic Age migrants who arrived from Central or South America 6,000 to 7,000 years ago, were nearly wiped out not by Europeans, but by a second wave of South American invaders over 1,000 years earlier. This second wave, known as the Ceramic Age people, set out in canoes from the northeastern coast of South America around 2,500 years ago. They were agriculturalists and pottery makers, culturally linked to the Arawakan-speaking peoples of South America. As they spread island to island, they supplanted the original foragers, most likely through a combination of disease, competition, and violence. Only in remote areas such as western Cuba did some archaic communities appear to persist undisturbed until around 900 years ago. This pattern of population turnover is visible in the DNA from over 250 ancient individuals sequenced by geneticists from Harvard, the Max Planck Institute, and the University of Copenhagen. The remains came from sites spanning Venezuela, Puerto Rico, the Bahamas, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Despite the sweep of conquest, researchers also found deep regional interconnectivity, a trait best exemplified by the Taino woman from a site called Preacher's Cave. Excavated from a burial site in the Bahamas, her genome has become a cornerstone of our understanding of pre-contact Caribbean peoples. Radiocarbon dated to roughly 1,000 years ago, her genetic material survived against the odds, extracted from the dense inner ear bone where DNA is most likely to endure in humid climates. Her genome was sequenced to an average of 12.4 reads per base, astonishing for tropical samples, and provided the first near-complete picture of a Taino individual. What this woman's DNA reveals is profound. She was part of a genetically healthy widespread population that had avoided inbreeding, evidence that the Taino were part of an expansive and interconnected network of communities spread across many islands. Archaeological evidence confirms this, showing widespread trade in ceramics and tools between island groups. Using a statistical technique developed by the Reich Lab, scientists were able to estimate the effective population size, essentially the number of individuals contributing genetically to the next generation. On Eleuthera Island, this number was about 1,600 people. That implies an actual population three times larger, considering that not all members of a society reproduce. On a 320-square-mile island, such a population suggests a thriving, well-connected society. Their genetics were not bottlenecked or isolated, but instead part of a robust, mobile civilization. This method was also applied to Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. Rather than the millions reported by early Spanish friars, such as Bartolomé de las Casas, genetic models suggest these islands had populations of only 10,000 to 50,000 before European contact. These numbers directly contradict the long-standing historical estimates designed to impress royal patrons or justify colonial claims, but the researchers caution this smaller population size does not minimize the devastation wrought by colonization. 
it only sharpens our focus on the profound cultural loss that occurred. Despite disease, slavery, and cultural destruction, the DNA of these early peoples remains. In Puerto Rico today, most people carry 10-15% to 15 Native American ancestry. Remarkably, when scientists compared the Taino woman's genome to modern Arawakan speakers and to these native DNA segments in modern Puerto Ricans, they found striking similarities. The Taino, then, are not extinct. They live on in the very fabric of Caribbean identity. Their legacy is not confined to blood. Their art, music, spiritual beliefs and agricultural practices have echoes in Caribbean life today. This genetic continuity provides a powerful counter-narrative to centuries of erasure and invisibility. But to fully understand the Caribbean's ancient story, we must not only look at what was preserved, we must confront what was lost. Long before the Spanish conquest, the first wave of foragers, the Archaic Age people, were almost entirely replaced. Their disappearance is not well documented in oral history or early European chronicles, but it is written in the bones. The Ceramic Age expansion was not a simple, peaceful migration. DNA evidence shows that on many islands, the earlier populations were either entirely replaced or absorbed to such a small degree that their genetic contribution vanished. This early wave of violence, conquest and disease is a critical but overlooked chapter in Caribbean history. It reveals that colonization, displacement and cultural dominance are not exclusively European phenomena. They were part of human dynamics long before the Age of Empires. Still, there are exceptions to this grim pattern. In western Cuba, for example, archaic communities seem to have survived intact until nearly 900 years ago. This hints at more complex relationships, possibly involving coexistence, trade or isolation, that still need to be explored. If the story of the Ceramic Age conquest is shocking, even more stunning is what comes next. In 2023, a team of researchers analysing ancient DNA from Panama, Uruguay and northeastern Brazil uncovered what no one expected, the presence of Denisovan DNA in ancient South American individuals. Denisovans were an archaic human species, closely related to Neanderthals, known primarily from DNA extracted from fossils in Siberia and Tibet. Until recently, their genetic legacy was thought to exist mainly in Southeast Asia, Australia and Papua New Guinea. How could their DNA have reached Panama and Uruguay, thousands of miles away and across an entire ocean? The answer may lie in the deep past, possibly as far back as 40,000 years ago. A population carrying Denisovan DNA, either from interbreeding in Asia or perhaps Southeast Asia, must have migrated across Beringia into the Americas, carrying this ghost lineage with them. That this DNA persisted for tens of thousands of years and still appeared in individuals just 1,500 years ago in South America suggests that it was not a minor trace but the result of a major admixture event. Even more puzzling is the Australasian signal detected in ancient Panama. This signal, related to populations in Australia and Papua New Guinea, raises the provocative possibility that a population related to ancient Australasians somehow made its way across the Pacific, perhaps island-hopping across the Southern Ocean routes and reached the Americas independently. That these signals do not appear in ancient North American genomes adds to the mystery. Were there undocumented coastal migrations? Did isolated groups reach the New World before or during the last Ice Age? only to be absorbed or replaced. It's entirely possible that the Taino woman's ancestry included distant echoes of these ancient migrations. Her genome, like that of her contemporaries, was shaped not just by recent island-hopping Arawaks, but by deep ancestral waves that may stretch back to Denisovans in Asia and forgotten voyages from the Pacific. These revelations offer more than just scientific fascination. They reshape our understanding of identity, belonging, and resilience. The Caribbean was not an isolated or marginal place. It was a crossroads, a hub of migration, creativity, and exchange. The native peoples of the Caribbean were not passive or peripheral. They were active participants in shaping the genetic and cultural map of the Americas. The Taino woman buried in a Bahamian cave could not have known that her DNA would outlive the colonial destruction of her people. 
but through her, we now see a Caribbean world of vibrant mobility, far-reaching ancestry, and extraordinary survival. We see a world where ancient foragers, seafaring farmers, and the ghost genes of archaic humans collide, and where the descendants of those people still live and breathe today. In the past, the prevailing narrative painted the Native Americans of the Caribbean as a peaceful people living in isolation, eventually extinguished by the overwhelming wave of European colonization. This story, however, is rapidly unraveling. Thanks to revolutionary DNA research from sites across the Caribbean and mainland South America, a far more complex and astonishing picture is emerging. At its heart is the genome of a single Taino woman, preserved against all odds in the humid earth of the Bahamas, whose ancestry is revealing that the Caribbean's original peoples were not only deeply interconnected and dynamic, but also harboring DNA from archaic human lineages like the Denisovans and Neanderthals. Native Americans are not who we thought. They are more diverse, more ancient and more enduring than our histories have admitted. And with each new strand of ancient DNA, their story, our shared human story, grows richer, stranger and more beautiful.